Check. Good afternoon, one and all. Good afternoon to all fellow cooperators. Good afternoon to those who may be, you know, curious. And good afternoon, Trinidad and Tobago and the wider Caribbean region, and even those persons who may be joining us internationally. And welcome to another edition, another episode of the Cipriani College one-on-one -on -one lecture series where today we will take you through the usual perspective and in particular the student's perspective. My name is Colin Bartholomew and I'm the program dean for cooperative studies and this afternoon you are in our realm and we are pleased to welcome you within the corridors of the Cipriani College of Labor and Cooperative Studies albeit uh, a virtual space and a space where over the past 18 months we have grown more and more accustomed to. Now, this afternoon you are joining us via, via the online platform and of course you will have the opportunity to interact with us as we go through the interview process with our fellow participants as well as the students, and even more recently, graduating students of the Cipriani College of Labor and Cooperative Studies, Cooperative Studies Department. And of course, as you are online, I would adopt the usual rhetoric. Please like, share, and subscribe as you join us here this afternoon. And if you wish to leave a comment or engage in some chat with us, you may also do, do so in the chat area. So of course, once again, I can never introduce myself too much. My name is Colin Bartholomew, Program Dean for Cooperative Studies at the Cipriani College. And this afternoon, I am joined by Mrs. Gillian Manswell Richard, and Mr. Keegan Orozco, and we will have the opportunity to engage with them a bit later on in the program. But for now, we let's segue into our discussion on the Cipriani College, and in particular, and I'm, I'm claiming that space this afternoon in terms of the Cooperative Studies Department, and it's one of the one of the, the best um, departments at the college and, you know, and every program Dean is speak with, they will endorse their college as the best program. <laughs> so you are in one of the best segments of, of potential teaching, learning, and also research that comes out of the Trinidad and Tobago and the wider Caribbean region. So please, you know, sit back, relax, enjoy, and at the appropriate time, you may engage in your questions and comments. And of course, I remind you to like, share, and subscribe to all our platforms. We are available not only on the YouTube platform, you can visit us on Facebook, you can visit us on Twitter, you can visit us on LinkedIn, and of course, the usual e mail channels. So this afternoon, I'll just share a short presentation as we go through what the Cipriani College is really all about. And before we get to the future plans, I'd just like to advise you and inform you that Cipriani College is really about empowerment for all through education. It's really something that we have really prided ourselves on for a number of years. And we really take pride in, in being able to provide an avenue for empowerment for all through education. And as you would know, 
that empowerment comes in many forms. Education is one of the key forms and education being a, a one of the core principles of the cooperative movement that is essential to our existence and what we do. So I'll just share our vision and our mission. You know, we must go through, through those elements of our existence. And when we speak to the vision, we speak into Cipriani as the premier Caribbean tertiary institution for accessible world-class education in labor, cooperatives, and related fields, empowering people to make a positive social and economic impact. So, so it's not only about the economics of the matter, it's also about that social contribution that you can make as an individual, as a group, as a community, as a society, and cooperatives being the vehicle that can take you there. And that vehicle is packed in the institution that is the Cipriani College and shared as part of its vision. But we also have a mission. So it's about bringing about empowerment and strengthening the skills of Caribbean people to increase their earning potential and value to society through the provision of dynamic, dynamic, relevant, high quality programs and raising consciousness of the labor and the cooperative movements. Now, the, the critical part about this definition is that dynamic component. One of the things we pride ourselves in is in terms of the applied element of our education. So we talk about that dynamic, relevant, and high quality in terms of what we deliver and our values, of course, you know, espouse what we speak to. And it's focused on being people-centered, promoting decent work, the transfer of learning, integrity, social and economic justice. And of course, we believe in community. It's very important. And that's really what the college is about. So it's really more, so much more than what meets the eye. So when you, you hear about Cipriani College, it's about empowering working people. It's about that dynamic you know, element to education. But to me, it's, and you know, to the institution, it's really about your experience. And the, I call it, and we call it the Cipriani experience. It's really more, than what meets the eye. And we are one of the main educational institutions focused not only on the empowerment of the individual, but on the collective, the cooperators, the labor movement, the working people, the working people of the millions of people that exist across Trinidad and Tobago and the Caribbean region, we focus on the collective. So our programs are really focused around that, and especially the cooperative program. What better program to focus on the collective than the cooperative program? Really focused on what the cooperative ethos and the future of the movement is really all about. And most recently, in 2021, there was a serious focus on what is called the, the, the cooperative identity. Now, the cooperative identity is really, really cemented in the cooperative ethos or the principles and values. And a lot of persons, you know, really inquired about the relevance of the cooperative identity within the modern scenario, within the modern happenings, within the, the, this global pandemic, within the new normal. So the discussion was honed around that. However, our programs, as dynamic as they are, helped to solidify and focus to build, first of all, bring awareness to, and secondly, build on the cooperative identity. Now, a lot of people know mostly about credit unions as a financial cooperative, but 
throughout the country and the region, there are a number of other types of cooperatives, from agricultural cooperatives to service cooperatives, such as taxi, taxi cooperatives, you know, and, and a lot of other, other types of cooperatives. And most recently, there has been an emergence of the, the entrepreneurial cooperatives, where a group of entrepreneurs come together for that, that collective benefit, as well as, you know, um, the investment type cooperatives. So you, we have been able to see an emergence of that as the move along. But most importantly, especially for the Trinidad and Tobago perspective, it's important to know that we are kids covered. So if you are interested in doing anything in the cooperative studies department and interested in coming to Cipriani, especially as a native of Trinidad and Tobago, you will be covered by government assistance for tuition expenses. And what we have begun to do within the most recent past is to partner with credit unions, especially those credit unions who have members who are interested in attending Cipriani to better themselves, upgrade their skills, upskill, retool in the field of cooperative studies, in the fields of, corporate, of credit union management, we have engaged in partnerships with credit unions enable, to enable persons to attend through various educational loan facilities. So if you're listening and you're interested in that partnership because you know you have a, a group of members who may be interested in attending, we are happy to really work along with you to bring you up to that perspective, accreditation is another important element. And the Accreditation Council of Trinidad and Tobago recognizes all qualification which emerges from the Cipriani College of Labor and Cooperative Studies. And in so doing, you are part of, of certification that can be taken regionally that is recognized in various territories around the world. So it's important that accreditation process, the college works hard to ensure that the accreditation is maintained and Cipriani College is the only college in the region, English speaking Caribbean, that delivers certification and qualification accredited certification and qualification in the field of cooperative studies and credit union management. So, you know, our offerings, you know, we, we go from the introductory programs, which people refer to as, as the 10 Saturday programs, to the certificate, to, to an upcoming diploma, you know, the bachelor's, the bachelor's and associate degrees, and also specialized training and you know um, I'm happy to be joined by a couple of, of most recent graduates who have really traveled the gamut of experiences at the Cipriani College in the Cooperative Studies Department and they have emerged victorious at the other side of that that um, pendulum that swinging pendulum so it's important that you know we we are able to to recognize success and in particular recognize that education continues to play a critical role critical role in the cooperative sector now one of the things and i mean we we touch on it some recent research and, and this is global research in terms of the skills that are required for persons who serve in credit unions and cooperatives range from some exposure to governance, some exposure in terms of interpreting financial statements, and even some experience in terms of, of information technology. And you see these in our most recent study that just came out in December last year as three key elements in terms of the global skills, which will be applicable for the new normal. 
So the cooperative studies department's curriculum is built around those elements to ensure that those key basic skills that research has indicated is critical for you to be able to serve, for you to be able to, to add value and contribute to your engagement as a credit union or cooperative member. We, in, we ensure that even at the basic level, from the certificate level, you are exposed to the skills so you can make a valid contribution. So it's not education that exists in a bubble. It's education, it, it, it's certification that is tied to national, regional, and international evidence-based results. So it's really something that, you know, um, our programs and they, they continue to go through the mill, even as recent as, as the beginning of January 2022, we are consistently looking at our programs to remain at the cutting edge of what is required for the new normal. And I, I affectionately call it the new cooperative normal the new cooperative normal. So, you know, we, we really encourage you to, to get with what exists because we really take pride in our flexible teaching and learning approach. Yes, everyone is, is online now. However, the flexibility afforded at Cipriani to take you through elements to focus on, on we, you know, the necessary tools that you may require at any particular time, Cipriani is pleased to be to consistently offer that. Also, this the college links education, right? Theory with practical experience. We are one of the few tertiary level institutions that has as part of its graduating criteria and internship element. So in order for you to pass through into certification and graduation and to matriculate through the levels and internship is a key component. So you actually come out with ready-made experience. So instead of getting the, the qualification and then having to look for the experience, both elements are married in our programs. And we take pride also in terms of developing critical thinkers. Critical thinking is, is, is an important part of is an important part of what we deliver across programs. So education used well enhances productivity and we take the nested approach to program delivery. So what does that mean? Basically, you can matriculate from the certificate level right up to the bachelor's level because the programs are nested within each other. So if you do a certificate in credit union management, it automatically exempts you from higher level qualification at the associate level, at the bachelor's level. So you can essentially begin your degree at the certificate level. And later on, we'll get, we'll get um, some of the experiences from both, both Keegan and Gillian in terms of how they approached their, their qualification and how they emerged on the other side. So we continue to look at the creative element and, and what we do at Cipriani College. So, of course, all programs being fully online. And this is one of, of our more renowned programs, that Introduction to Cooperative Management, that online program, 40 hours course, 10 weeks program, which is 100% online learning known as the 10 Saturday program. But now it's really the online offering in cooperative management, short, quick, fire, affordable, certification based on the experiences 
and needs of the particular grouping. Of course, we utilize our learning management software to get where we need to go. And it's not only in that field, but we customize and, and personalize and specialize training. So whether you are looking for professional staff development, whether you are looking for cooperative governance elements and those pillars of cooperative governance and honing them at your organization, boardroom dynamics, compliance, compatibility, executing your fiduciary duties. And in the more recent past, we have been getting into a lot of business training for credit unions and cooperatives, especially as the pendulum swings throughout this pandemic. Persons who have lost their jobs, who are looking to retool up skill and start their businesses have been privy to partnering with the college and actually taking a group of their, of their micro entrepreneurs who are members and certifying them to be able to be more confident to go forward into their line of business. So all this is very, very possible through the Cipriani College and specifically the Cooperative Studies Department because it's not only, uh, you know, certifying and qualifying, you know, those volunteers who may be on the board, the credit committee, the supervisory committee. It's also for the persons who are staff members it's also for the persons who are ordinary members. It's also for the persons who are interested. It's also for the next generation of cooperators. 20 years from now, we must look back and see what we have put in place as cooperators for the next generation of cooperators for the overall growth and development of the movement. So, of course, we talk about our 10 Saturday program, you know, and even we look at other elements. And this is one that is really taking up the business content creation. And this was important, especially for, for, the, for the micro entrepreneurs and those persons coming into that realm you know, to, to be exposed to the elements of, of business content creation. So it was, was very, very possible to, to enhance themselves through that. However, you know, we also have the offerings in what we call accelerated practitioners certificates. Now, the APC programs, Accelerated Practitioner Certificate programs, these programs actually are for the practitioners who just need to enhance and upgrade what they do. And I always speak to the personal experience when it comes to this, because, you know, um, at the point in time when I was engaged by, by a credit union, I was simply looking for a job. I was looking for work and I was able to, to be engaged by a credit union. You know, it's few fun in between that you're, you're doing, that a story is not similar when it comes to being employed at a credit union or at a cooperative. However, because of the accelerated practitioners programs uh, that is been, has been introduced, sorry, by the college through the cooperative studies, um, department in particular areas we are able to to really look at some areas so when it comes to, to leadership strategy and management from a cooperative perspective we can have that discussion when it comes to enhancing the accounting procedures and practices we can have that discussion as uh, from a practitioner's perspective when you're looking at credit union member services and operations we can have that discussion because it's about an accelerated practitioner's certification because we take the practitioners, persons who may be 
certified, qualified, or persons who have been, you know, engaged with the credit union or the cooperative for a long period of time, and they really want to get some certification, you can tag that on. And we also take pride in our partnerships, all right? It's, it's locally, you see the Transcorp Credit Union, that business training where we were able to, to liaise with them. It was a, a two-day series that they had where we were able to, to engage close to 100 micro-entrepreneurs who were members of the credit union in business, basic business skills. And it was 100% online. The Kuku Cooperative College, they are actually located in the Cooperative Republic of Guyana. We were able to partner with them to deliver uh, the introductory program and, and the professional development programs. So we were successfully able to implement that one number of engagements within the past couple of years and St. Mary's University. Now we have up to the bachelor's degree level, St. Mary's University officially recognizes the, the certification of the college and matriculates our students to into their master's degree program. St. Mary's University is located in Canada. So partnership is, is something that we believe in and partnership enhances your experience at the Cipriani College in terms of what you really want to accomplish and what you want to achieve. You know, so, so we, we, we're really happy to have some future plans on the agenda as well. And what do those future plans entail? You know, looking at sector research and development, there is no better time for sector research and development. Most recently, we, we were able to conduct it in the areas of governance. We were able to conduct it in the areas of, of the cooperative identity. We were able to conduct it in the field of um, ICT and ICT strategy. So it's really, really a good opportunity for for sector research and development, particularly towards the new cooperative normal. Also, the consultation services, if, I mean, the reality is, you know, we engage a number of consultants who then have to go and research on the sector in order to get the information to do the consultancy. Cipriani helps to flatten that curve. We are actively readily engaged in the cooperative movement. We have decades of experience in the cooperative and credit union sector. And when you're talking about policy development, when you're talking about strategic planning, when you're speaking about project planning, business and marketing planning, credit union specific research, um, industrial relations and these elements, occupational safety and health, even the cyber security and other security concerns, the college is able to touch on those elements in a consultative capacity, all right? Also, in terms of, of moving on, you know, we have in train and in stream, a standalone diploma in the credit union management, which will be pitched at, you know, a, a, a higher level. And it's really being done in partnership with St. Mary's University. And these, this, these discussions are ongoing, and it's something that we should be able to celebrate in the not too distant future. And also, there has been the establishment of an international cooperative business education consortium. And that consortium has a number of institutions from around the world. And Cipriani College is represented on that consortium as the only, only institution that provides cooperative business education in the English speaking Caribbean. So, we are really, really happy to, to share our future vision with you. And of course, you know, oh, sorry about that. Yes. So of course, whether in Trinidad, whether in Tobago, you know, we encourage you to, to contact us 
you know, if you need any further information, if you are regional, you may contact me at Bartholomew C at cclcs.edu.tt. So I have committed half hour to deliver that presentation and <laughs> I have done so successfully. So it's time for the students' perspective. It's time for them to chime into our discussion. So I would like to invite um, Gillian and Keegan to the floor. Good afternoon, Gillian. Good afternoon, Keegan. Good afternoon. There is Gillian. I'm seeing you, Gillian. I'm not seeing you as yet. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Colin. And good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, good afternoon. as well. Fantastic. I'm seeing Gillian. I'm seeing Keegan. Right. Hi, Gillian. I just want to make sure. Yes. So, are you hearing me? Wow. Right. Just making sure that you are being heard. Yes. Yes. Let me just make sure my speaker. So, that's a check again. Gillian, you with me, right? Yes, I am. Are you hearing me? I am here, you know. I am here, you know. <laughs> so the technology is it has crossed over to another device that is outputting. Keegan. Yes, yes, Colin. I hear you. Nice man, nice, nice. That's another beautiful thing about graduating. But yes, he called me so. I know I have to get accustomed to him calling me. <laughs> <laughs> this is a student's perspective. Yes. <laughs> Really happy to have you all here. How are you all doing today? Fine. Oh, very good. All right. All right. And officially on the forum, I really want to wish you all a happy new year. All the best for 2022. And may you have a cooperative filled 2022 and beyond. And I know. Thank and, you. Yes. Thank as you. one of the, the more recent graduates, I know you all are primed and ready to go. So, um, well, uh, Keegan, uh, you know, we, we were stick, you know, we are we are fellows that engage in chivalry. So if you'll allow me, I could take Julian first, right? Yes, no problem. By all means, lady first. <laughs> so Julian, <laughs> Julian, I yes. just share with our audience, you know, um uh, how you have have come to this point and you know the to being a part of the institution, tell us a full name and the qualification and qualifications you earned at the college. Yes. Good afternoon to everyone that's viewing today. Thank you so much for having me. Um, my name is Gillian Manswell Richard. Um, I have attained my associate degree in cooperative studies and then went on to do my bachelor's in cooperative studies with a minor in labor studies. So um, it was such a journey. It was a very, very lovely experience. Um, I did not anticipate doing my bachelor's in cooperative studies, but when you start, you know, it, it, it becomes a passion, it becomes a lifestyle. And eventually, you know, I went back and completed my bachelor's. I'm very, very thankful for the college for granting me the opportunity. And it was indeed an experience. It was indeed an experience. I journeyed with you for much of the experience. <laughs> <laughs> so I know it was an experience. So, but Keegan, tell me about, well, you introduce yourself. Good afternoon again, everybody. My name is Keegan Orozco. Um, I also um, attained my Associate of Arts degree in Cooperative Studies in 2015 and went on to complete the Bachelor's degree of Arts in Cooperative studies, of course, the minor in labor studies as well. Um, the journey was the, so you know, so it was <laughs> long and I complained all the way. I think all students <laughs> complain because, you know, when studying, it, 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 it takes up so much of your time, especially when you are working, you know, young adult. Um, but like everyone advised, the feeling of graduating, the feeling of accomplishment, it is out of this world. 
And um, I am so appreciative to you and to the rest of the, the lecturers at the college, the college and our whole, the experience has been fantastic. Of course, there, there were hiccups with a lot of stuff regarding registration and stuff, but I believe after conversing with a lot of other students from different colleges, they also had the same issues. And after some after the years I spent at the at, the, at Cipriani College, I, I got to see that the administrative sec the administration they actually attempted to fix the issues as soon as possible so every semester there were changes that were being implemented so i appreciated that so much it the experience at cipriani was really nice the lecturers was nice the students was really nice the staff was really nice um i always preach about well to colleagues at work and to, to, to relatives who are coming out of CXC to, you know, venture into Cipriani College, look at the programs that we have, especially cooperative studies, because I love cooperatives. I must admit at the beginning when I first came into the college, I, yes. I wasn't too interested in cooperatives. I wasn't too keen. I didn't even know what it was about. Yeah. And my sister, who, who is Jillian Manswell, Richard, she, she encouraged me to do the program. And at first, I, I told you this on many occasions, Colin, that at first, to me, it was a little bit boring. It was a drag. But <laughs> that was because I didn't have no interest at all into the program. And after, after the first year, actually, after the first year, I realized, I realized what it was about. And I grew a passion now for cooperatives and for cooperation. So, and I got that from the college and from you, Colin, and other lecturers who were so important in my development in this field. So I am thankful. And I can't wait to see what it will bring for me in the future. Fantastic. Well, well <laughs> thanks for sharing that, Keegan, because I was going to ask you what led to your choosing cooperative studies, but obviously it's Jillian. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 it was. It was. I guess you followed and eventually, you know, became, you were officially incorporated as, as a cooperator. But Jillian, what led you now? down this road to cooperative studies? Well, I worked at the cooperative division um, some years ago. So um, I was already introduced to the sector. And I, I normally tell persons this story. Hearing the cooperative officers, you know, after they come back from the field and talking about how much cooperative means to them and, you know, how, how exciting they will be when they come back from on the field you know, it, it, you know, it, the passion was there, but not too much, you know, and, the, you know, you see them and sometimes you see them a little flustered or a little overworked because for some weird reason, there always a shortage in that sector. And, you know, but they were still going, they're going to their meetings and, and everything. So um, I had that first experience there, but it's actually a cooperative officer who is a friend of mine. And good afternoon, if she is listening, Miss Spence. And, um, she encouraged me. She said, you know, you have, you know, you have some history there. Why don't you go on to study it? You know, she had went on and did her associate at Cipriani. She had a lovely experience. And, you know, she encouraged me. The year that she went to do it, she actually encouraged me to go. And I said, like, no, I'm not ready. You know, I'm working. I'm coming all the way from Grandy. You know, I, I'm, I'm not ready. But she always, you know, year after year, she would say, Jillian, you know, think about it. Go and do it. And then one year, you know, I said, you know what? I'll ask my brother and we'll see if we could um we could go and we did and we have not looked back since uh, si nice. same thing as Keegan you know um the passion is there and I think that is the difference I guess with just learning something and you know really teaching something I I I don't even know what words to bring out because the lecturers not only teach you the content you know as an adult you go into a college and there are so many outside factors. You have work, you have family life, you have so many different things that you have to juggle. And I mean, it's difficult. But here you are, you know, you as an adult, you go to a college and the lecturers and them recognize this. And they don't just try to shove content down your throat, you know. You, you as an adult, you somebody cannot tell you that this piece of paper is black and you've seen it white and you will just take what they're saying. You need to know well, why they're saying that. And that's what the lecturers do. They take, you know, they take the time. Um, wow. If you don't understand something, they take the time to go it over again and again. Um, for example, one of the lecturers, Mr. Valentine Smith at the time, you know, he opened his doors. He said, you know what, those who don't understand, these are my days. Come in, sit down, talk with me, make the time. And some of the persons weren't able to go 
because during working hours, so he now had to try to make sometimes in the afternoon when he's supposed to have classes. I mean, you don't get that any and everywhere because you know you talk to people. Same thing as Keegan, you talk to people and of different institutions. You talk to the younger ones, and sometimes they're so frustrated because the lecturers and them are not making time. They're not going over what you know. They just put something on the board, and you have to learn that, you know. But at Cipriani, it's really a difference. And um, as I said, we're very very thankful that um, we were able to complete, and the experience yeah. was nothing short of amazing. Excellent. I, I must ask something because one of the things that always struck me with the both of you is that you all were not from this sector at all. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you all, you know, I, I know you had a small synthetic corp division. I know you had some some um, experience, a short experience at one of the, the larger credit unions in the country. And, you know, even throughout the course of your study, it really... You all didn't work, you all didn't, you know, wasn't involved at any level in a cooperative or a credit union, but the passion and speaking about cooperatives was so, I was always so impressed by that. So, I mean, I will start with you, Julian, and then you come in, Keegan. So what would you say about the learning content in the program? And I, I know now that you have emerged and Keegan, you are involved at a credit union, Jillian, you can, you know, you have become more engaged. What do they say about the learning content? Is it relevant? Is it, you know, applicable? Has it helped you? Well, the learning content, even from the associate level, you learn so many different things. And I think that is why we went on to do our bachelors. Um, at first, you know, as I said, I was encouraged by someone to, you know, go ahead, you do the study. But when you learn the history and how cooperatives came about and what it can do, not only for you, but for persons in your community, I mean, it opened your eyes to so many other things. And it's, it's like you, you had no other option than to become passionate about it and one of the things that um with the course and with the college is the amount of time that you get to not only learn something but you get to have discussions and you get to, um a feedback from but because the lecturers and them some lecturers are actually working in the credit union so like again for example me who's not working in the sector you know there are some, I would see things a particular way. I will see that they're supposed to act or they're supposed to do something a particular way based on the content. And then, the, you know, the lecturer will say, well, you know, that's not how it goes. We just have to kind of, you know, make it our own and, and work it at a, at, at, a certain, at a certain way. So, I mean, all of the content that was given, learning about how cooperatives came to be, how credit unions came to be, what it can do for wider society, you know, it was so relevant and you see it now. And I think I can now, even if I'm not working in the sector, can go into a credit union and see the credit unions who, is, who are still in alignment with the cooperative philosophy because there's a difference. And I always tell people that, you know, sometimes they, they look at credit unions now and they keep thinking that it's just, well, um, yeah, I'm going to social so credit union. Well, it's just like the bank. And I know I have to tell them, no, it's not. And when I and you know there are certain credit unions that you 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 actually see and you feel the difference because all of their strategies are still in alignment with the cooperative philosophy. Yeah. You know, but there are some credit unions that they, they, they you know they tend to toe the line so closely. Yeah. That that you cannot tell that that they, you you know that they're doing the whole loans and the different types of loans and whatnot, but you don't get that. And you see again, it goes back to the philosophy and what it means. Yeah. And sometimes if the staff don't know that, or if they, and I had such a brilliant, I had such an amazing experience at my own credit union. And I, and I told them the minute I had that experience, I told them that it, there, there lies the difference. Nice. Because the officer was able to, I didn't have to tell her anything and she was able to see something and she took it upon herself to do something about do it. Something. And that is what corporate is all about. Nice, nice, nice. I like that. 
And one of the things that Julian always tell you, I've seen you grow in terms of that, in terms of that political correctness. I see you really walked a fine line there. So I really appreciate that feedback. But I'm going to somebody who I know this cross over the line. Yeah. You know, in terms of <laughs> <laughs> in, terms, in terms of the content, you know, uh, for you, how was, how was your experience in terms I, of that content? Yeah. Colin, I believe it's not only relevant, but very applicable. Mm. Because there were programs like the anti money laundering programs that now I see how I could apply the knowledge I learned there at the credit union that I'm affiliated with. Yeah. The, um, the communication extension program that involved actual field work and presentations where now again being affiliated with my with, with the credit that i'm with right now as well as where i currently work i am now i have the ability now and the confidence to make live presentations in front of people right. um so th that's what i'm saying it's not only relevant because of course it's very 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 relevant in today's world in today's society um the study of cooperative and cooperative management it as i said is also applicable compared to other programs, but I don't want to really make comparisons. But um, <laughs> my personal experience, I've been able to apply nearly all of all of the modules that I that I study into my work that I do, the credit union, yeah. as well as with my current employment, place of employment. Nice, nice. And I'm happy to say you get confidence like to make presentations. What are some of the other exciting skills? that you know you added to your resume coming out with a bachelor's degree because i know now you're engaged at at um at a credit union in in a, a capacity as an officer and you know you serve with distinction and pride and you know i i know you you have also gotten skills in terms of marketing yourself even when you're going back up you know yeah <laughs> so what are what are some of those exciting skills that you know, you you really emerged you were able to add to your resume, and you have you know even more confidence. Mm -hmm. I hear the presentation skills. Uh, you know, I don't know if some analytical skills. You know, what are some of these skills for you? Colin, you know me. I'm not a numbers guy. <laughs> I don't like numbers at all. And lo and behold, the the committee that I'm on deals with numbers on a daily basis. Yeah. And even today, I was thinking about it. I was telling myself, look at how I, I try to hide or pull myself away from studying anything that deals with numbers like accounts and math, economics and stuff like that, which, of course, we did in the program, in the bachelor's as well as the associate degree. Yeah. And um, I find myself being able to apply and understand a lot more of the mathematical aspect of being on, 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 on a certain committee at the credit union I'm, I'm, I'm at. And um, aside from that aspect the as you as you stated before my ability to market myself as well as market the cooperative movement it has grown exponentially so so much so because um as i i came to you on many occasions telling you that you know a lot of people who i work with tell me you know why should i join a credit union or why should i choose a credit union in, in, instead of a bank and i always call and say so i get in these 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 talk our wars with these people on work and you know you give me guidance on how to fight the battle how to explain and how to encourage and i find myself doing that every single day now so that 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 that, that ability to market myself and market the the movement now has grown and um i love it i, I love to see the glimmer in people's eyes when i explain to them exactly what a cooperative is and that credit is a type of cooperative and all the different um things that you could gain from a cooperative not only dividends because you know a lot of people only think about the dividends that they can receive from a co from a credit union mm -hmm. you know and it, it it makes me feel proud to know that i've guided people towards either coming together to form a cooperative or to join a cooperative or to actually volunteer to do things with a credit union yeah and so it, it, it's been a blessing seriously it's been a blessing and and i enjoy it so much that that's that's fantastic, and I mean, uh, happy to see the comments coming in on YouTube. Jillian e e Elizabeth Spence is here. You know, she she is saying that you're most welcome, Jillian. You know, so it's happy <laughs> that your mentors can also be here. You know, to see the growth that has taken place. You know, I've seen people currently enrolling programs. Uh, I've seen I'm seeing people. Uh, you know, like um. 
like like Jeremy, Jeremy Marachu has come through a number of programs at the college and is now in, in one in credit union management, you know, Sh Sherry. And say so just saying good afternoon, Cindy, everybody, Tanisha, everybody joining us online, you know, and you know, continue to to just send your messages and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, you know, and, and just continue to share and spread the word. And I mean, we 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 have a number of people joining us here, but I really want to ask and I'll ask Jillian, you know, um. I hear Keegan's perspective in terms of, you know, defending the, the, the cooperative difference and, and what that takes. But, you know, you also have the Cipriani experience and the couple of programs that they came through. So would you recommend this program to other members and stakeholders in the cooperative and credit union movement, whether it be staff, volunteers, executives, you know, would would you go about recommending that the, the the program and tell me why you would? I would definitely recommend the program. I have done so so many times before. I guess that um persons try to figure out exactly what after they finish the study, what they will actually go and do. But um, in terms of staff. In credit unions, you see the benefit of it. Mm -hmm. You see the benefit, and um, because there's a, again, there's a difference between just the ordinary banks. Please excuse my dogs; they have <laughs> they have no conduct apparently. Um, they're, they're coming in; they're, they'll become a corporator soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, um, the content that you learn from cooperative studies. It teaches you so many things. I have always said that I am originally from the countryside and there are a lot of farmers there and you see farmers try and fail almost all of the time. You know, they start up with a little farming and they, they really do, you know, they try, they, they put in all of the work and everything, but sometimes flooding, you know, sometimes they get a really bad um, dry season and they can't continue. And my thing is, when I came to the college and I started learning and you found out that there is a way where the community can come together with a common goal and form something, something of themselves. I mean, so what, I mean, to be self-sufficient and not have to depend on anybody. I mean, it, it's just beauty, you know? So um, when persons go into like staff and credit unions now, same thing as Keegan says, sometimes you have to tell persons that it's more than just, the first thing I tell people is, do you know that a credit union is literally a financial cooperative? It's a cooperative. It's just financial. We have financial and non-financial. So, and there are also other cooperatives, marketing cooperative, there are housing cooperatives. They're, you know, different cooperatives around. And credit unions are just a financial cooperative. They still have the same basis. It's like you're making bread and you still have the same base. If you could have raisin bread, bran bread, but it's the same base underneath the philosophy. The philosophy is there. And sometimes when you look at the vision or, measure or mission of a credit union, you see the wording is there of the cooperative. It's there. You know, and staff should be more aware of it. And I think if staff, and, and that is why learning the content, learning where, the, where it began, learning about the Rochdale pioneers and why they had to, why they felt it necessary, learning why the, um, I always get his name wrong, Rafiason and they, Rafiason, yeah. <laughs> you know, and I mean, when you learn that, I mean, there is a history as to where we came from. Yeah. We always know where we want to go, but unless we know where we came from, we wouldn't see the struggle in between. And I mean, that's why the, the study of corporate was so important. Yeah. You know, that's so excellent. Staff and staff and, 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 and members of committees and things. I mean, if they do that, I mean, they are, I mean, so we, one of the 
great things we had to do was volunteer at some meetings. So we were able to see some election process for credit unions. And it was a beautiful thing, seeing people wanting to give of their time freely to these committees. Yeah. And you know, it, but the, the thing is, do they know what it, it comes like you're going to do, a, you're going to a fight, but you don't know what you're fighting for. You're, yeah. you're not going armed, you know? So, I mean, the, hmm. the content is so, it, it's, it's so important. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Keegan, you there with us, right? Yes, yes, I'm here. Yeah, I, I see Jillian, like Jillian frees up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. No worries. Well, I, you know, the next question will come to you. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, and this to me was, was always something interesting because you, you all are one of the first group really um, coming out from this experience. You all began in person and ended online, <laughs> you know, and that transition, that that ability to be flexible, to be malleable was very, very, you know, critical. And, you know, I must acknowledge some of some of the lecturers who are here sharing with us, you know, Miss Marina Pierre, Mr. Dwight Nelson, you know, and those, I know you all would have experienced them all in terms of they being able to make that transition online and take you across the finishing line. And Mr. Nelson, uh, looking at in terms of that ICC, ICT and the strategic approach, Ms. Pierre, in terms of that governance model and, and, and credit union and cooperative management. But in terms of finishing online, right? That experience, you know, um, how how was it for you as compared to when you started? You, you feel you were, it was even more rewarding to be able to complete it amidst the challenges and online? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I welcomed online um, schooling. <laughs> I, was, I was relieved and pleased to see um, that Cipriani took it, took upon this venture to, to start to teach virtually. Um, I mean, I missed the face-to-face -face classes because, as you know, I liked the conversations, the arguments we had in class regarding a topic. I, I enjoyed that. I learned more with conversation, face-to-face, -face, person to person conversation. But um, it was beginning to be to become strenuous to, to leave work and then come into the, come into the college and, and mm. sit there until 8 o'clock. There were many, many nights when I wasn't in the mood to, to, to hear anybody. You know, I just made sure to try and attend my classes because you have to attend, you have to have at least 75% of attendance, I believe. You mm -hmm. know, so with the with, with now with this ability to, 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 to learn at home made it a, a lot easier for me to relax and to focus and prepare myself for the class. I welcomed it. It was fantastic. I enjoyed it. I was able, we, although it was, I was still able to have the conversations the arguments, you know, to, to understand the topics and things. Um, I was surprised to see how so quickly, how fast the college was able to apply or to to join into the virtual virtual teaching, mm -hmm. um, because I, I I know of a lot of uh, other colleges that ventured the same thing and it was difficult to implement. Um, but again, kudos to Cipriani College. They did a good job. They are doing a good job, a fantastic job. But I am so happy now that they have this virtual teaching. I, I, I actually want to come back and, and do some more things at the college. Nice. Um, so I welcome it. It was fantastic. I, I can't wait. Fantastic, man. Great. Uh, and I, I want to end off with, with a question to both of you. Uh, Jillian, I don't know if you're able to hear back. Are you hearing me, sir? Yes, yes, I am hearing you. All right, so I'll ask you this first, and then I'll, I'll, I'll go to, to Keegan. Um, now that you have had the exposure to cooperative management, to cooperatives, and, you know, through the Cipriani College, it's a two-part question, double-barrel question. 
what do you see as the future of the movement and the college's contribution to that future? I wish you can see my face, sir. Are you seeing <laughs> I'm not seeing your no. face. Sir. Well, okay. okay. I realize that I'm having that issue because you should have seen my face when you asked that question. Yeah. But um, moving forward, the college should play such an important role in the cooperative sector. With the amount of training that you receive, with the passion that the lecturers give you, the information, not only um, book content, but you get you you know you get experiences from the lecturers. I mean, all of this you cannot expect to get. And I love using all these little metaphors. You cannot expect to get. Huh. That's so hold on, I'm trying to look at, at um, the passion running there like I'm lost for words. You cannot <laughs> expect to get or to, to, to get um training as a bus driver from a cricketer. You cannot expect to get training to be a boxer from a swim instructor. Yeah. In order for you to get the correct tools for a job, you know, you're a teacher, you need to get pens, pencils, whatever, you go to a bookstore. I mean, no, I mean, yes, I understand. You have these tools everywhere now. You can afford to get these tools everywhere. You can go to a supermarket, you can go to a drugstore. But if they give you to look for 3HB pencil with this and that, and you have to go to the proper place to look for that. So the tools are in the right place. Cipriani College of Cooperative and Labor Studies is where you get the tools for, co for the cooperative sector. Yes. If you don't get the correct tools, how are you going to do the correct things? You're going yes. to do the things in us, sir. But would it be, I mean, would you still have that passion? Would it be done correctly? It's like you have your, your goals and your aspirations, but would it be in alignment with what it's supposed to be? Yeah. It's because you're, you're not getting the correct footing. You're not getting the correct information. I mean, credit, the credit union sector, of course, is going to have its own history and you're going to have your own training for that. But again, for the beginning, for a credit union to be a credit union, it started off as a cooperative. Yeah. And if you don't have that knowledge of how you're supposed or, or what you're supposed to do, I mean, how could you properly make goals and strategies for your, uh, for your, you know, for your business if, business, if, if, yeah. if you don't have the correct training, if you don't have the, and it wouldn't be the correct training, but the training that is required for that particular skill. For that particular skill. Good stuff. Good stuff. Keegan, question come to you, you know? Yeah, I right. see him in your hand. I know he's right. All the answers, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I you I always call, I always refer to Cipriani College as the HR hub for Trinidad and Tobago for the cooperative movement. That is my opinion of what the college represents and what the college is for. And I am, I am, I believe right now uh, the business community, mainly well, the sector of credit unions and mainly credit unions, they don't utilize the college the way they should. I know, after having experienced the college, after having experienced getting my bachelor's degree in cooperative studies. I feel as though it is my job now to promote, to lobby, to advocate, not only for corporation and cooperatives, but to get 
the institutions, the credit unions to use the college as their HR hub. I mean, we know and understand that a lot of a lot of them they look for people who specialize in certain um, yeah. academics like finance and and marketing. Yeah. But the studies at at Cipriani College it it covers all of these different. Um, Topics it, it covers all these different special specialities. It, yeah. So it used to baffle me, but I realize now, um, like Jillian always used to say, or she still says that she believes the movement has lost its its way. It's, they, they've lost the, the direction they will go from long ago. The stalwarts who created, who developed, and who pushed the entire cooperative mind, and. So I feel as though it is my job, and not just my job, everybody who came out of the, of, of the cooperative arena, of the cooperative sector, of the cooperative studies um, classes should want now to fight, to lobby, to push the cooperative movement, the cooperative idea, as well as to encourage the business community that we are qualified in this field. We are specialized in, in this field mm -hmm. and they should utilize the college to help create cooperative mindsets for all staff yeah. under the cooperative movement. So that is where I want to, there's where I see the college, the future for the college and the future Excellent. for the movement. Excellent. I hope, I hope that um, I hope that I get the I hope that all of us we get the the momentum and we get the support from the various stakeholders to to move the college to that, towards that direction. Because I mean, I, I'm coming. I am coming. Excellent. Excellent. I love it. So call, calling all cooperators to so the cooperative studies department at Cipriani College and to Cipriani College. So I, I really want to thank you, Keegan. I really want to thank you, Jillian. And I want to thank you collectively, Keegan and Jillian, for contributing to this afternoon's discussion. I think it was extremely valuable. I think, you know, it added, you know, significantly to, to the discussion around the college and what a Cipriani college has to offer. And it it really is... is a good impetus and a good representation of certification and qualification in the field of cooperative studies and cooperative business management. I really want to thank you for taking the time this afternoon to just join with us. And we are joined online by a number of our colleagues. I want to thank you all also for joining you know, I'd say good afternoon to you all. I see Noella here as well, the one and only. I see, <laughs> I see Rachel here as well, and and a number of other persons who have really, um, you know, engaged the college over the years. And for those of you who who else I'm seeing online, you know, I really, really thank you for taking the time, and I would like to to direct you. To Cipriani College across, you know, the various platforms. You join us here on YouTube. Please remember to like, to share, to subscribe. However, you can also find us on Facebook. You can find us on Twitter. You can find us on the Instagram, and of course, you can also find us on 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 our LinkedIn as well. So, you know, um, thank you for really joining us. And this is just another installment of the Cipriani College one-on-one -on -one lecture series. So far down, we have project management and now cooperative studies. However, join the Security Administration and Management Department on January the 14th at 5 p.m. for their discussion on the one-on-one -on -one series from the student's perspective and also our other departments coming up, Human Resource Management on the 17th of January and Labor Studies on the 19th. And we await the date for the Occupational Safety and Health um, presentation. So, fellow cooperators, ladies and gentlemen, 
Once again, my name is Colin Bartholomew, Program Dean for Cooperative Studies at the Cipriani College of Labor and Cooperative Studies. I really thank you for joining us here this afternoon. I look forward to you just spreading the good news that is Cipriani College and all our offerings. And I really encourage everyone to please keep safe and take care of yourself and your fellow man. From the corporate house perspective, it's about service, mainly about service, not for profit or no other capital gain, but for the service of each other. So on that note, I really want to thank you and we look forward to seeing you in the future episodes of the CCLCS one-on-one -on -one lecture series, A Student's Perspective. Have a good evening. Take care.